Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to draw the blade holder here, orthographic projection, three views in AutoCAD. All the drawings can be found on the site. Let us begin. So I have the drawing. I took a screenshot of it and I like to start by drawing the front view and I like to draw the overall, the full shape. That's going to be the full bounds that I have. So I have a rectangle that I can draw and that's going to be three by four and a quarter. All right. So more rectangle click. Let's go this direction first, so 4.25, tab three, enter. So there's our overall bounds of our entire shape. It's a rectangle and a rectangle tool, so I like to explode it, so click on it, X, enter, and this allows me to manipulate things and offset and trim easier. So I'll start by actually offsetting the front face, right? So down here we have a little step, and that step is 5 eighths off from the base. So offset, now five ace is 0.625. Look at that already in there. Click up. There you go. 0.65 offset from there. And now the other part of the front view is this whole rectangle on top here. This popped out part here. Uh, that, those dimensions are one inch by two and one eighth. And I'll also draw this as a rectangle uh, from the top corner. Make sure you have your snap settings on. Pull this down. This one is 2.125. Tab and one. Enter. Also, got to explode this. X enter. So then you can TR for trim and get rid of that. All right. So I got rid of the top corner by trimming it away, but you had to make sure you explode this. So it actually trims on those. Uh, the only thing missing now in our front view is our two drill holes here and here. Those are located one and five sixteenths up from the side, one inch, two and a quarter inch, and they are uh, diameter five ace drill holes. Drill means diameter as well. So I also am going to use offset. So offset the base, uh, one and five sixteenths. We got to type in a mis mixed fraction, mixed number here. Uh, 16 plus five is 21. So we have 21 sixteenths. So 21 divided by 16, enter. That's this line up. And that's where the uh, first part of our center line is going to be. Space bar is all or enter and then space bar again to continue another offset, offset command. One, this guy over space bar, space bar. Distance now is 2.25. Uh, Enter that guy over space bar to get out of the command. Circle diameter from there, pull it out. And this is 5 eighths, so 0.625. Enter. And you can do this with a, just draw it again. I like to do the copy command. Select the object, enter midpoint uh, over, right? So we can get rid of this line now, that line and that line. And our front view is actually done except for hidden lines. And I'm going to save the hidden lines till the end, but we will have a hidden line up here, right? Crossing over, showing this step here as a hidden line, but I will save that to the end. And now I just want to do the top view or continue doing the top view. I just do that by transferring lines uh, straight up. Uh, distance doesn't matter right now. Space bar, space bar. And then picking a point somewhere in here uh, with enough spacing for dimensions, that's going to be equal spacing from our side view. This distance, you can be consistent if you'd like. I'm just going to pick a spot and go across. All right. Now we need to know our overall width of the object and do some more offsets and stuff. All right. So from here, we have this step here. That step here is three eighths, and then our overall dimension is one and five eighths. So I'm going to go all the way back there as well. So our first one here, offset, that's three eighths is 0.375, enter, up, space bar, space bar. Our distance one and five eighths also need to be a mixed number. So eight plus five is 13 divided by eight, enter, that guy up. Let's trim away some stuff so we can clearly see that we're not done yet. Uh, our top shape here, we also have a step going down and over, and that guy's not actually there. So we can trim that away now. Because we have a clean front, there's nothing up here, but we do have this step here. All right, and what do we know about that step or the distance over till we get to this point here uh, is coming from the back five eighths. So. Offset distance five eighths is 0.625. Enter that guy down. 
and then trim things away, right? This rectangle is clean and that's gone there. So now we are left with our top view, missing our hidden lines for the circle and missing a hidden line for the uh, shelf back here. We will save that until later. Next up is drawing our side view. We need a transfer line and it needs to be drawn from the intersection point as, this, as if this was a full rectangle. So when I mouse over a corner, double check that you have all your snap settings on. I do, but I'm gonna be using the extension one here. So when I mouse over the corner and then mouse over this corner, I'm getting two plus signs and I'm starting to get my extension line. See that? So I'm gonna click there and then move this at 45 degrees. I have my ortho lock on because it makes drawing these easier. If I change this to my polar tracking, which I have set at 45 degree increments, click, and now I can uh, transfer all my lines over. I'm going back to my polar tracking, which by the way, you should have on. And then now we can draw our lines, space bar, space bar, and intersect all object lines that we're gonna transfer over to our side view. Need this guy too. And that one. And that one. All right, now we transfer it down. Uh, stop at perpendicular. And this one. All right, so in this shape, we do have our final drawing. Let's just trim some things away here. Need that, need that. And then we can get rid of all these. All right, looking at our drawing sheet, you will see that we actually are missing a dimension, right? I didn't do every single dimension here. This is why I like using a drawing sheet so I can recognize whether or not I forgot anything and I'm still missing this 5 eighths. That's showing that this S that we're gonna have from our side view uh, has a little bit of overhang over here, is it has the thickness of 5 eighths. So that's actually an offset of this guy from the top. Uh, 0.65 is already in there, that guy down. All right, that's actually gonna show shape in there. So let's look at our side view again. You'll see that we have this thin area here in the front that has nothing in it. So trim. This front area in the front has nothing in it. And then there's no lines going across the base until you get to this intersection point and then no lines again. So I have no lines here. This is that overhang. I can get rid of that. No lines in there. Here's our intersection point. See it right here? No lines again. This part here is what we're missing as a hidden line over here, and that's what we just added in. So if you go back to uh, the drawing, we now can start transferring these lines over, and you'll get a hidden line there, right, for that view, and then we'll do all the hidden lines for the circles as well. So let's switch over to our hidden line layer and transfer these points over. I still have my ortho snap on. I like to click first and save myself multiple clicks by having to do the trim. Let's do another line now uh, from these corners. Make sure you're snapping to the ortho quadrant, right? And now double checking here, look at your lines. Your hole or drill hole is only going through this center point, right? The drill hole does not go through this top flange. It only goes through here. So let's actually, before we transfer the lines over for that, let's transfer this hidden line over so that we know that our full width here is the holes are only going here and here. So our quadrant, snap there to there, quadrant, click, 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 click. Click, click, we can delete these. And let's do the same thing to the side with a line quadrant from there to there and there to there. All right, so there's all our hidden lines for our three views. We're just missing center lines and center marks and then obviously dimensions. So let's go to our center line layer, center marks, there and there, 
and then center line. There, 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 there. All right, those are your three orthographic views for the blade holder. Did we get everything? I think so. Good luck, have fun.